The 2024 National Jazz Fair garnered a number of interesting innovations with those responding to Zambia's electricity challenges having raised huge interest. However, junior scientists like Mwapechi Pampa, who is living with albinism, used the fair as a launchpad for her innovation, an organic sunscreen. The grade 10 pupil from Kafue's Naboya Secondary School has turned to a combination of vegetables, fruits, honey, and aloe vera, among other ingredients, to develop the sunscreen, which she and seven others have been using for a month. People with albinism are recommended to use at least SPF 15, but I wanted to aim for SPF 30. Unfortunately, I was only able to reach SPF 22, but this is actually good enough because people with albinism can use this and other skin conditions, or even people who don't have them at all. So I can say this works for all skin types, uses indigenous materials, and can introduce sunscreen production into Zambia. Parker Deputy Registrar Intellectual Property, Chewe Chilufia, has cancelled Mwape to safeguard her trade secrets but register for trademarks when commercializing her innovation. The best that you can do is basically ensure that the ingredients in that particular cream are kept secret, as a trade secret, that is what will give her an age of her other, so no one should know the composition of that particular cream. And then she should give it a name so that if there are many creams on the shelf, how do we differentiate her cream from the others? So that name is a trade. Meanwhile, National Science Center Assistant Director in charge of Research and Innovation, Joe Chilea, is impressed with the levels of innovations at the Jet Sphere. He has appealed for more stakeholder support. They should come on board and help to finance in whatever way, either in kind or in material way, of material form, to help these participants have their ideas uh, actualized. Stakeholders are now appealing for further development of the innovations and inventions exhibited at the jet sphere beyond the event itself. Mwe Wamsonda, ZMBC News, Lusaka.